Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about our two favorite paradigms from last video, remember? Pressure and reflections. We're going to continue those paradigms throughout 2025. So I want to go over them once again, just a quick summary, so that we're both on the same page. Pressure we're going to view as low frequency, okay? We're going to treat it as ocean waves. That's how we want to think of pressure. Reflection, we're going to think of sunshine, okay? Not very good at drawing, but you get the idea. Reflections are more short, straight, direct line energy, and pressure is more wave energy. So wave and ray. Think about the rays of sunshine. So pressure, ocean waves, reflections, rays of sunshine. Two different paradigms, and you can see in the graphics that we're showing you the difference in them, okay? Pressure is low frequency. Reflections are mids and highs. Keep that in mind. We want to stay in this paradigm throughout the rest of 2025. It's really important. And I think two or three months into this process, you'll really get a handle on it. And when you understand the problems in the room, and more importantly, what they sound like, then you can go to treating. And then more importantly, once you treat, you'll be like, oh, wow, that's wonderful. I knew there was something behind all that distortion. I just didn't know what. I knew there was more of something. Well, that's what we're going to do, okay? So we must be able to see sound if we're going to accomplish this objective. How are we going to see sound? We know how to hear sound, microphone, software. But how are we going to see sound? We're going to use a software program called an RTA, or Real-Time Analyzer. We like to call it Resolution Time Anal Analyzer because it's a picture of the resolution of the room. It's a way to look at what the room sees when you put energy in it. Because the room is very predictable and consistent. It will view pressure a certain way. It will view reflections a certain way. And we want to observe the way it views that. And we're going to do that by using the RTA. So you're going to go ahead and down the app, download the app, get it in the app store. Here's up screenshot of what it looks like. RTA Pro. It's all green. Download the app. We're going to focus on everything below 100 hertz because that's going to be low frequency pressure. Okay, so we're going to move forward on that. So I want you to take a piece of cardboard. Here, I already did it. You know, just a piece of cardboard over your RTA and then just start at 100 block off so you're just going to view everything below 100 that's what we want we're going to study the movement i don't want you to get confused up here because that's reflection we're focused on pressure here right so we're going to block this off and use it all right now what i want you to do is when you blocked it off and we'll use it i want you to study the movement watch how the octave bands go study the definition of octave band study the de definition of note here's a good question how many notes in an octave band Figure all that out. Do some homework. Understand this. And then I want you to comment on the movement that you see with your music. How the octave bands are moving. Does one move really high and the others go low? Does one stay high while the others are moving? There's a name for that too. and We'll, we'll get to all that. But for now, I want you to study the movement and make some comments on YouTube. That way everybody can see it. And I don't have to answer, you know, a thousand emails. So I'm going to put a couple songs uh, in this video. And the, the low end, look at the low end in the RTA on those two songs. And you're going to see a really good representation of how a room should react. That's our studio. So you'll be able to see how our studio reacts to those two songs. Compare it to your room and see how they move. But study the movement. That's the objective of this first exercise. All righty. Hope this helps. Thank you. Okay. This is Mountain Time with uh, Joe Bonamassa. And the reason I picked this video and this song is because it's got two kick drums and a bass guitar. That's the goal in low frequency management. We want to be able to hear the kick. And we want to be able to hear the bass. And they're separate instruments. Now, they operate and overlap a lot in frequency. But I think with this song, you're going to be able to get a good understanding of 
how they interact with each other and how separate they are. The next one, Lucky Man, uh, the Keith Emerson tribute, a band that I grew up with years and years ago. They have a Moog synthesizer in, in this song, and it's right around that 40 hertz region, and you should be able to hear that very distinctly. You should be able to hear the kick and the bass in that also. Made of Tears with Satriani. This is a no vocal situation. So we've got a couple guitars, we've got a bass, and we've got a kick. And there's no vocals to uh, kind of overlay upon all that. So you should be able to see a nice distinction between the bass and the kick drum in this song. So these three songs should give you a pretty good idea of how pressure works in a room. Thank you.
Hi everyone, Dennis again. I want to walk you through the room form process. So go to the home page and click on the room analysis tab. Once you get to the room analysis tab, then it's going to ask you for information. So left side, start my room analysis, orange button. Click on that. And once we get to that, it's going to ask you just six or eight things, dimensions, structure, composition, things like that. Fill out that. Now, here's the most important thing about that part. You can include up to six pictures. So stand in the middle of the room, take pictures of each wall, and take a picture of the floor and the ceiling, and attach it to this form. Okay? Once you do that, you'll be prompted to schedule an appointment in our electronic calendar. Go ahead and do that. The calendar automatically adjusts for your time zone. Please call on the scheduled time. We do not call these numbers. So we're very, very busy. We want to make sure that everybody gets taken care of. So it's your obligation to call at the scheduled time. And then we'll discuss your room and I'll give you three different room resolutions to consider. Alrighty, hope this helps. Thank you.